Well, guys, we had some changes of plans. So instead of Amphibia being our first podcast, it's going to be this one. We have Smallfoot. Oh, yeah. I yeah. We have Smallfoot. Yeah, we have Smallfoot. We still got to upload that one. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the podcast, guys. Welcome hey. Podcast. And welcome to 2022. So today we are going to be doing a podcast on the fourth Hotel Transylvania. The final one. The final one, supposedly. The f- supposedly. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Assumingly, you never know. At this I don't. Point. I don't know. I don't. I don't know at this point because it's like it, it's like they were supposed to just be standalone by itself, and then they kept making them. So I don't fucking know. Is is I don't know. They, they they make a lot of money, so I have no idea. Yes, they do. But yeah. So this is not familiar. This is familiar territory for us because we actually did do a podcast on the other three Hotel Transylvania movies. Yeah, it's a two-hour-long podcast thanks to Jay here. I'm sorry. So if you are interested, mainly I was talking your ear off about the first movie, but whatever. Yeah, but if you are interested in seeing the other, our thoughts on the other three movies, go on our channel and you can look it up. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So first thing we're going to so. Why don't you tell me what's about, honey, since you're the Hotel Transylvania expert. Oh, shut up. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, well. Go Dracula's on. retiring. And he has he's hesitant about giving the hotel to Jonathan because Jonathan's such a shumble meal. So, <laughs> so Johnny turns himself into a monster and accidentally turns everybody else into human. And they have to figure out how to reverse the process before yeah. they per- come in permanently. That's pretty much it. That's the gist that's of the, it. That's the gist of it. That's, that's, the, that's the gist of it. So should I go first? Yeah, I, I feel I feel like you should go first because And then you'll see if you see these things or not. Yeah. Alright, you go first since you're the expert. Go on ahead. I don't know. It was it directed by Gendy, which by God thank fucking Jesus Christ it isn't. <laughs> I would have hated to see a fourth installment directed by Gendy. He is so fucking tired of this shit. Yeah, he's made like four movies, so No, he legit does he I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know what it's in his head, but he like has a disdain for this now. Probably. I'm glad that it got him off the ground to like make more, like get him studio attention so he can go make other projects. Yeah. But he's probably done. Oh, he is probably so like done with this shit. It ain't even funny. He probably wants this off his IMDb page. Probably. <laughs> um. But. Um. I liked a little bit of aspects to this movie. Um, I think they did a great job at replacing um, Dracula's character to probably a more likable persona of him. And like, a, and like, you know, Brian Hall's performance of Dracula is actually kind of like spot on. Because he's done impersonations of him yeah, before. Yeah, but like, I mean, of Adam Sandler, yeah, he he's done impersonations of cartoon characters and real life people. So yeah. I, 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 like, I know quite a bit about him because, like, yeah. I've watched a lot of his content mm-hmm. before, so I know quite a bit. But anyway, continue. I think he can do a great impression from now on of Dracula, like if he actually wanted to. I agree on that. If they wanted to do anything more with this character, he's probably the person. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably the best person to do it for because, yeah. like, if they're gonna find anybody as close to Drac as uh, as close to Adam Sandler, Adam as they Sa- can, is Adam Sandler ain't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, if they're gonna find someone that's as close to Adam Sandler as they can, he Brian Hall's definitely the guy to do it because he he does a great performance, and I'm actually happy that he actually gets to be Dracula in like a he gets to be main like, motion picture. He gets to be the main s- star, even though. <laughs> he's he's a he's like what a level, I would say C voice actor. I don't know. But I'm not talking. He's about done like, like minor. In, roles I'm talk, not talking about it like in skill. I'm talking about like in. I'm talking about like in the level of voice actors from best known to least known. He's probably like a 
C or like a B minus. But he's still great. Like this is like I think one of his first major roles, if I remember right, because he's done a couple little things here and there. Mm-hmm. Like example, he actually did voice a couple minor characters. I think in Tangled the series, I believe. I don't remember who, but I know he voiced somebody in that. Mm-hmm. And he's also he actually also voiced some of Dracula stuff and like whatever they do for like Universal mm-hmm. for like Hotel oh, Transylvania. He actually does the voicing for that version of Dracula as well. He's been doing the voice ever since two. Really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that part, but I knew he's, he's been been doing the voice. I don't know for what you said. He's been doing the voice since twenty fifteen, and this is the first time he actually got to do the voice fully, which I'm happy about because. This guy deserves it because he works really hard. Well, it, it's a it's a good it's a it's a good role. He does it he does it really well. And honest to God, I like probably I could tell in some of the line delivery wasn't it wasn't on him, but in some ways I don't care because <laughs> of the movie that we got. Like it's it's fine. That is probably one of the best things about this movie. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, because like he did a great job at being Dracula, and I'm super proud of him that we actually got to hear um, him do Dracula, which I think was great. It's a great thing that you know someone like newer in the industry. I don't know how long he's been in the industry, but he did fantastic. Like I'm so proud of him. Yeah. But anyway, um, what other stuff do you have to talk about it? I like that they 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 focus on one of the main fucking things that they apparently forgot about <laughs> in the first movie is that it's not it wasn't it wasn't really much at all about the romance between like you know how normally these these um Movies animated go. comedies go when like you know the father is being overprotected of the daughter normally it's the father and daughter's movie but I think they re- I think they retained that in this movie and brought it back to what it was all about, which was, that's what it made it so memorable. memorable was the fact that it wasn't about the, the two falling in love. The father and the son-in-law are the main characters. And I'm happy at least in this movie that they remembered that <laughs> and brought it back a little bit. Cause I don't know. I don't think it was, I don't think like, you know, in the, that's one of the things that I think improved. The one thing, the one thing I could say that any of this, like, second, third, or fourth movie can ever bring to the original that is better is the fact that they did bring it back to that core element because I do not think that that was resolved in the first movie. They resolved it here. Why did it take so fucking long? I have no idea. Um, But I'm happy they at least... Finally resolved. Finally it. resolved it because, like you know, th- they've had like I I feel like that that's like one of my criticisms of the first movie. That relationship was like you know extremely rushed. So I'm happy we got to build on. I'm happy that this was a better like starting relationship than the first movie did. Honestly. I would if if I could stick this plot into the into the first movie, or at least the the relationship, the little the scenes that they have together, like if it was better, if it was like that in the first movie, like the same construction, then I, then I that would be that would be fine, that'd be fine because to me that relationship is more prevalent. In the franchise. That, that. Then, then the actual romance. <laughs> yeah. And that's what makes it so unique. Is that it's not about the romance. It's about this... I would say bromance, but I don't want to go there. It's not a bromance. It's not a bromance. It's a, fa- it's a father and, and like... It's a f- it's father and son-in-law dynamic. Father and dynamic. son-in-law relationship. And I feel like that's, that's prevalent and it works here. It works, it resolves, it's better than the first in that regard. In that singular regard, other than that, everything else in this movie, I'm happy I saw it on television. I'm happy I saw it on, on Prime. If I went to go see it in theaters, I probably would be like, why? Just like probably with the third movie. Yeah, because like I feel like this is one of those ones to where... 
I feel like if you watch this in theaters, you would have a totally different opinion on this movie yeah. than you do yeah. if, on Prime. <laughs> I will admit, it's not as it's not as overly a sensory as the third movie. I think the third movie was way too overly animated for its own good. Um, it's not as bad as that. But I can definitely tell when they took some liberties with the budget. <laughs> like you could tell? Yes, I could tell. I don't know if you could tell. I couldn't tell. Exactly. Because I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, there's some like way that it's like the framing, the framing of, of it is a little bit off. And like, it's kind of, I don't want to say it was cheap. But it kind of like the attention to, I guess because the animation is one of the highlight is like the biggest highlight of this franchise and that I pay so deeply attention to because like they just kept pushing the boundaries of it every single movie. And in in this one and, and from going from the over anime, over anime animated third one to here where it's like some of it is also overly animated but some not as bad as before it's not as chaotic as before but you can definitely tell when like it the some of the shots were not like you know did not complete its framing and I, i i was just bothered by it because it kept happening like every cup every couple of minutes and kept on noticing it and it was just like it was just so distracting and like i would rather have it have be that than overly animated but still i just like god damn i i wish i wish the anim- i wish the animation was as good as probably the first two movies because it seems like the the animation kept on like go trying to go so over the top that it just kind of lost itself a little bit. I know the mo- I know the models are gonna change, and it's fine. I don't mind the cartoony models. It's just, I oh god, <laughs> it's just so. It it got lost. It got lost somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you saw it. I I don't think you did. Judging on your, to me, it didn't seem that bad. Like. I- I feel like there were some scenes that they could have, like, done a little more with. But I feel like overall it wasn't as bad as you're saying it is. But maybe it's just me. Like, I can pick up small details sometimes. But for this one, I really couldn't pick. I don't know what you're picking up that I can't. Because I'm literally, I'm like. I'm picking up, like, different. I'm picking up, like, smear. Uh, I have to describe it to you. Smear frame animation. Yeah. Or kind of jump cunts. Uh, jump, jump cunts. Wow. I, I said that so wrong. I kind of jump cuts. Like. Like it, it's not probably noticeable to you. But I can notice it where a little bit. Where it just. Something wasn't. Something wasn't adding right. Maybe it was the rendering. Maybe it needed another rendering done on it. Maybe like you know. Maybe they just cut frames i don't know i don't know what's going on so maybe somebody can help me please it just isn't it just isn't as fluid and smooth as the other ones it just it just isn't okay i can you see that it's not a as little fluid. bit it's now not that you're smooth. talking about it i can see a little bit but not really much okay okay i think i'm losing you though <laughs> i think i'm losing you yeah uh, you probably you, did. I, i'm probably losing you i'm Ugh. sorry i don't i don't i know you don't have that much enthusiasm over this franchise like i do and i and like I the series but like i don't i don't hate the series i like it but you're more passionate about it than i am yeah you know what i mean okay but anyway, I think the movie was good, in my opinion. I don't feel like it was... Yeah, you talk about it now. I just... <laughs> okay. So, for me, I don't think this movie was as bad as you're saying it is. Like, I it, I feel like it could have been a little... It's not TV quality? It's not... It's not, um... It's, it's, not, it's not straight to DVD quality for you? It is a little bit, but not to the point where it's like, I can't stop watching it. Like... To me, I'm not saying that in a bad way. There, like, there's movies that go straight to go straight to streaming, and like, they're good. 
Like, like fucking, to, they're fucking great. Like movies can still be great. Like they like fucking Netflix is great for putting out like straight to the, the, straight to theater quality, and this one isn't. Yeah, so, I like, can see. I don't like. It doesn't matter. Like that does just straight to DVD does not mean that it's that is doo doo. You know. It's, yeah, like I don't see. I, like to me, I don't think it was that bad of a movie. I I pretty much enjoyed it. The only, like, I guess the only thing I can think of that, like, um, I guess made it different compared to, like, the other ones was, like, there was some scenes where I noticed how it got faster and faster and then, like, slowed down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's just the way they did the budget and stuff like that, but... You talking about the pacing? Yeah, some of the pacing... Or directing, more like? Yeah, but, like... To me, I like that we actually get to focus on Johnny and, like, Drax's relationship a lot more like we did in the first movie. So, Mm -hmm. I will give it that. Um, I also like we got to see Erica and Mavis actually interact with each other. That was actually one of my favorite parts is actually seeing those two interact because we barely get... We we haven't got to see that yet. Like, more than... um, Yeah, but they weren't really used at all. I know, but I still liked whatever we got of it. I still thought it was nice. Okay. What whatever whatever we got from it, I thought it was good, because you know I wanted to see at least a little bit of that, mm-hmm. like in this franchise before it like finished, because I know it's most mostly focuses on Johnny and Drac, but I also like to see hey, that's the relationship I like more because I can toss those characters aside. Like I'm I'm okay with tossing those aside. I'm more interested in how like those two play off each other, and I know. that's what I got, and I'm happy about that. I'm ha- I'm happy about that. Okay, so since so we talked about what we liked That's about it. That's the one time that, like, like the third movie was, for me, it's fine. It's it's fun, but it's a complete waste of time. At least this one gave me what I wanted. It wasn't a waste of time. Yeah, that's true. So I guess something I do want to ask, since I don't want to make this movie, like, this video too long. Okay. So since we talked about what we liked, Ari, what are some stuff you dislike about the movie? Do you have well, anything the, um, you dislike about it? Well, I don't dislike the animation, but uh, it's just personally for me, the little nitpicks about it. It's just like from that first movie to now, it's just like, oh my God, where did we go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because like, um, to me, I feel like the animation, it's like basically you have the not the not as fluid to like the most fluid, the most fluidity. I feel like one and two are like in the middle. But they sl- but one's in the middle, two slightly gets a little bit better, three went all the way to fucking infinity with the infinite in- animation, which is a bad thing. And then this one kind I feel like is between... This is like Smurfs. It reminds me of the Smurfs. Yeah. The animation in the Smurfs. Like this was, like the fourth movie, if I had to put it on the scale, I feel like it would be kind of where two is. Like a little mm-hmm. bit above two, you know what but around there. Of? This reminds me... You know what Dracula's re- animation remind me of? Like the facial animation? What? Remind me of uh, Gargamel from the Smurfs It kind of did. In some it's kinda, scenes, it kind of did. Now that you're telling me, did they actually have some of the Smurfs movie animate some of this? Because I could see a little bit. So it's fucking Sony animators. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, like to me, I don't think it was... Like I could see it a little bit now that you're saying it. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Um, to me, the only stuff I really disliked about it, I guess, is just that, um, I have to think. Plot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like the plot could have done a little bit more than what plot it did. plot is... The plot's just simple. It's lame. Like... It's simple. It's simple. It's lame. You could have literally, like, you, had this Dracula li- and Jonathan literally bond over anything else. Like... Literally anything, and it would have made it would have probably made a little bit better story. But I'm fucking talking about it like Hotel Transylvania Four is gonna be like the greatest fucking thing ever made. No, it's not. I'm fine. Whatever. <laughs> to me, <laughs> like I feel like this is more of like an animated special more than like a movie. Yes, it's an animated special. Oh my god, you nailed it on a head. It's an animated special. It's not a movie. Like, cause to <laughs> me, this doesn't feel like a quote unquote like fourth movie, even though it technically is. 
I feel like this is more of like an animated special that they just decided to do. Like, here, you guys wanted to know what happened with Dracula and Jonathan's relationship? Here you go. Yeah, I'm like, here you, you wanted go. to know what happened when he turns to a monster? Here, here you go. go. It was the animator's movie. Let's have fun with these fucking designs. Here I think they go. wanted to fucking do that. Yeah, here's, here's another one like they did with the third I one. I feel like... I, this is how I feel like it went. Except the third one was supposed to be the Popeye movie, and then they just like, ah, oh, fucking Gendy, just put a little bit of Popeye in here, and you're in the okay. Record. Let me let me explain this. This is how I feel like they did with the animators, in my opinion. First movie, okay, guys, we have to do this like the best we can do. We have to do great. Second movie, okay, we still need to do great, but we need to do a little bit better than before. Third movie, you like the second one over the third over the first one? No, I'm explaining to what the oh. animators were thinking. Oh, okay. Like, I feel like what the animators oh, I were told meant, to like, do. In, as a whole, never mind. No. Third movie, okay, guys, I'm tired of this shit. Just go fucking crazy. And then fourth movie, okay, let's not go as crazy as that movie. But you could still but go still, crazy. But still, still, who gives a shit? But still, fucking. who gives a shit? This is the fourth fucking movie. We have four movies out. And we're done. We're done. Fucking We're done. Gendy, you're out of your chains. You can go. Be free. Go fucking go somewhere else. Like to me. Go to Cartoon Network. I don't care. Okay. So. So yeah. That's Actually, basically. He's still going to make movies. I know that. Either. But he doesn't have to do Hilltop Transylvania if he doesn't want no, to. He wants, no. He wants to do. Uh, he wants to do rated R movies now. He Which I think is nice. R. Which is fine because okay, go ahead, make your go ahead, uh, Sony. You're you're you're. I guess you're quoted that was to go make like actual like adult animated films now. Which cool, <laughs> like, yeah, cool. I hope they do good. Um, Me too. But anyway, so but other than that, like to me. I don't really see much wrong with it. it at least that I can think of it's off the top cartoon, of my head right now. It's a Saturday morning movie cartoon Animated thing special. That is Just say animated short, special. That is short. It's, it's surprisingly shorter than the short. other, like, three movies. Yeah. Which I find interesting. Because you said it's not that long. I'm like, are you kidding me right yeah, now? Yeah, it's like an hour. It's like an hour and 20 minutes without the credits. Which is fucking insane. Like... I still can't believe this is the shortest of the the movies. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, last thing I want to mention mm-hmm. before we give our rating, and then I'll say something after that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know you said there's already a TV series, yeah, and stuff like that. So you want me to say we want to watch it? Well, yeah, we have to. That's the last thing that there is. Well, but if we do do that, do you think? If it's not as good as we thought it is, do you feel like they should make a reboot of the TV show? Because if they did, I, I could see it as the style of like. Enough, I think if someone were passionate enough, they would be able to make a a reboot of either a, a, in movie form or more likely a TV show. Yeah, because I think like, a TV show would be a better idea. I don't think they should fuck with these movies for like <laughs> a good <laughs> couple years. Like a good like 10, ten plus years. 10 years. Please don't remake this shit until like. This is my opinion. If you're gonna remake shit, it is in the wait until zeitgeist. at least it's ten plus it years old. It is in the cultural zeitgeist and it is public domain because it is fucking monsters. And somebody's gonna somewhere is gonna reboot the fucking monsters. But I will say this though: if you're if they're gonna reboot it, please wait at least ten years. That's my that's my thing when it comes to reboots. At least wait ten years. No, they're probably gonna. It won't do this one either. They don't do either. They're gonna make the TV show. Because I, I doubt that they're going to fucking... They're not. Fucking monsters for kids. That's fucking gold right there. It's gold mine right there. They're probably not going to do that. They're probably going to make either a TV show that's more comedy-centric or in about 10, 15, whatever years, a new people will come along and they will make the movie that this was originally going to be. That that could be another thing Yeah, well. they could make it just like... an. They could just make it an animated film and try on the same level as Disney and Pixar with their storytelling. That's pretty much it. Yeah. They could do Which that. Which I could see happening because Sony's really been improving like how they do their stories and stuff. So I could see that. But yeah. anyway. If they wanted to. But I highly doubt it. Because they, the comedic monsters are uh, like, they're fine. But if somebody legit wanted to try, then they, they would like... You know, they would make an entirely new, different thing. But, so, since we're done, hopefully, with this whole fucking franchise, until we get to a TV show, that only lasts two seasons, by the way, so it's not that long, 
Um, what do you think of this whole thing? Now that it's over, what do you think of it? I feel like it's a good franchise. I feel like they've really built up a lot of good things within it. They built a lot of good things. Revolutionary things. Yeah, like a lot of re- revolutionary things. I feel like it's a good thing that it was made. They invented fucking Yendi Blur. Like, that's like that's so fucking cool to me. But, oh my god. It was We're a long engine, journey. Man. It was a long journey. But for th- the beginning was great. Middle was like, okay. Later middle, bleh. And then like, I feel like the ending could have done a little bit more. Like, they could have, like, shown, like, a little bit of how Mavis and Johnny ran the place. They just showed, like... They just show, like... They just show, like... 2D, like... 2D section of it, and it's, like, you don't even get to see what it looks like in 3D. You don't even... You just get to see the 2D version of it, and it's, like... I think it was just, like, you know, that's just... It just wanted to end. Like, you know, let's wrap this shit up, guys. Let's go home. I think that's what they did. But... So, how would you... I guess, how would you rate, like, each movie... Okay, first one, I give it an 8 or 9 out of 10. No, I mean, like, from worst to best. Oh, worst to best. Oh, worst to best. Yeah, worst. Oh, because I... Oh, yeah, we already rated the first three movies. Yeah. Okay. So, let's let's rate the fourth one and then do that. Okay. So, what do you give the fourth one out of 10? I like it better than the third, but only slightly. Only slightly, because it is still... It is still like movie special quality, and for me, it's it's an okay imitation. But Sorry, if I nice. were to say to myself, if I were to say to myself that this is what a franchise would turn out to be from that from that first movie ten years ago, I would have said nope. <laughs> nope <laughs> nope because I, I the only reason probably why i stuck with it is because i have a, because a, i a hyper fixation over fucking dracula no i have a hyper fixation on this world and these characters and, and made like, this no i legit think that there is something there that it it's still look it's fun for kids and for me personally there is something that is still there for some reason that's like you know it's the design it's this world it's these characters in some ways i cannot let go of it in some ways i cannot let go of it because i really do i really do like it because it's just fun it's feel good it's fun but if you were to tell me that this is what it was going to be like 10 years 10 years ago then i probably would have been like okay not really excited anymore but all right I guess that I guess that's what it I guess that's what it's gonna be, and I'm sad that it lost it lost more of its passion the more it went on, and I I feel really sad about that. So, in terms of this one, I liked it again. I liked it better than the third one, but only by a slight margin. Um. I forgot what I rated the third one. I think I rated like a six or a five. Yeah, something like that. So this one I would probably give like... I'm just going to give it a six. You're so. going to give it a six? Yeah. Okay, to me, I would probably give it a 6.5 to a seven. I feel like it's... That's like good. That's like... Okay, maybe saying like a... the movie's like... Yeah, maybe, okay, seven, fuck it. Maybe a good. six as well. You're, let's you're, give it a yeah, six. let's give it a six. Yeah, six out of ten. This I is still, almost Nickel. I can't see this playing on Nickelodeon. Yeah, <laughs> Nickelodeon honestly. movie. How can this not be a Nickelodeon movie? At this this looks like a Nickelodeon movie. This looks like a Cartoon Network movie. It looks like a mix between the both. Yeah. Anyway, so since we rated it, um, worst to best. Worst to best. I man. think okay. So for me, worst one has to be the third. Minus the fact that we had Erica in it, and I actually really like Erica as a character. Okay. Um. Sadly, it's the worst one. Even the best thing out of that movie has to be Erica being introduced in it, and mm-hmm. the fact that we actually get to see Dracula find somebody else after being so lonely for so long. So lonely. So those are the like the best part about that. Even though it's the worst one of the ones I picked. Mm-hmm. Second worst. Um. This one. <laughs> I think it's either a mix between this one and the second one. Okay. Like I think. Okay, I think the fourth one is the second worst. Okay. But 
It's kind of in the middle. It's kind like, of in the middle. Okay. This one and the second one to me are like in the middle. I don't okay. consider, I consider both of them like in the middle between best and worst. Like it's indifferent. Okay. I'm indifferent about both the second and the fourth movies. So I'm going to put that, both of them in the middle, same category, both in the middle. And then the first one is the best one. And even then, you don't consider the first one to be good. Or you do consider it to be good, but just not great. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the... But if I had to pick a best one out of the four of them, I still feel like the first one is the best one. But personally... People are going to say the first one is the best one. But to me, the one I'm most attached to, I guess, if, if I can think of it, probably has to be the second one. I feel like I like... Getting introduced to like his dad and stuff mm-hmm. in that movie, and we get to see where he gets some of like his personality and stuff like that. That's when he talks about fucking prejudice more. <laughs> yeah, but it made it interesting. So the one I'm most attached to is probably the second one, Are with you? like the fourth one kind of tagging along with it. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of attached to the way they did those two movies. Okay. Um, but other than that, that's my worst to best. Mm-hmm. What about you? What's your worst to best? And which one are you most attached to? And also... Well, you already said it. You already said it. So what I said yeah. works for you? Yeah. It's uh, third, fourth, second, first. Do you agree with the best things I say, said about each movie? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm pretty much up there with you. I just hold that first one up to extremely high standards. I know you do. To an nth degree. And... I can't say it's a guilty pleasure movie, but like, like yeah, I think that movie, I think like the first movie just set the bar so fucking high, and then it went all the way down, and I'm just like, oh, you, you fucking just left me down here with nothing. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. But, so we pretty much read it. One more thing before we end the podcast. Originally, we were supposed to do Amphibia for our first TV show, but. After, are you okay? Yeah. After a little bit of consideration, we decided we're still going to do it, but we're going to hold off on doing Amphibia for a little bit longer. So you'll be seeing Amphibia coming out, our Amphibia podcast coming out later in the year Mm -hmm. with it. But, so instead of doing that, our next movie, our next thing we're going to do is the Hilda movie that came out because it actually came out a couple days ago. So we're going to do that. And... The first series we're actually going to do for this month, drum roll, The Ghost of Molly McGee. So we decided instead of doing Amphibia first, we're going to do The Ghost of Molly McGee first because it's a shorter series because Amphibia is like three seasons Mm -hmm. and so many episodes. Oh my gosh. Um, And we decided we're going to start with that. We're basically going to be dividing into parts because we don't know how many episodes it is currently. So, we'll be doing the first part of our Ghost of Molly McGee TV show podcast by by the end of this month. We're going to be watching it af- next week, and we're going to be getting it out by the end of this month. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the podcast, and we will see you guys when we do the Hilda movie and Ghost of Molly McGee. I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And we're out. <laughs>